Well, here we are indeed. I think we might be winning. A little, a little stuck, buddy. Having gotcha. a little trouble there. Thickness. Thickness. What? Is, you okay? Yeah. It's just having a little trouble. It's a little bit stuck. Happens to all of us. I never miss. Well, bye. Oh, yes. All right. <laughs> what the fuck is this game? <laughs> yep. Mhm. Mm Good work, Gladio. You're the best. Yeah, I have no idea why or when these summons happen but they are really cool. Holy shit! He survived that! What did you expect? The slime that could. Yeah, so what you want to do is just hold your fishing rod with both hands straight up into the air like that and just throw the cast out with your mind. Don't even move. Just reel it in with your mind too. Just hold the uh, fishing rod. Like it's not even there. It's like you're It's just by your side doing absolutely nothing. You really want to just intimidate that fish. Just, just both hands up. Nice little stretch. You're not scared of that fish. You're just reeling it in with your psychic powers. It's no problem. And at this point, the fish is going to be just completely terrified. It, it doesn't understand how it's being pulled to shore. Fish usually don't understand how they're being pulled to shore, but now it's really confused. Just continue your, your complete mental assault on the fish until it just gives up and just swims its way to you. You did good. You can pick it up. Not. Do not show emotion now. at all. Look at this bird and its cold, empty eyes. It has no thoughts whatsoever, except the desire to go fast. It's a good bird. This is this is a really, really pretty game. If you, yeah, from this perspective, you have this like big, wide, beautiful ocean seascape thing going on like light reflecting off the water it's real pretty but if you like zoom in here to this perspective look at that you got like really pretty wood you got like two different kinds of wood you got some nice shiny seats but like they're like wrinkled and stuff too you got like really nice shadows like oh this is, this is great this game's great so so I discovered this mini game. It's called Toto Monstro. You place bets on monsters uh, using medals that you can only spend here. And if your monsters win, then based on the odds, you uh, get a payout. Now, my issue with this game mode is... You know, let, let's go to the math. Let's let's well, let me show you with math. All right. So this is the top prize that you can buy with the medals in Toto Monstro. It costs three million six hundred thousand medals. Now you can buy medals, but they cost ten gil each, which pretty much prevents you from buying any of the higher priced prizes with the money you use, you know, in the rest of the game. Now, in the game itself, you can wager a maximum of 9,999 medals. Now, let's just round that up to 10,000 to make the math easier. Um, I don't really mind giving Toto Monstro a little tiny helping hand like that. You'll see why in a moment. Now, the amount of medals you get back on a bet depends on the odds. The less likely a monster is to win, the higher the odds are for it. Now, let's assume every single bet you make is on an underdog, like a five times underdog. The odds don't even go that high most of the time. 
And now let's assume that every single one of your bets wins. Which, you know, that's not going to happen. And all, let's, let's also assume that the matches take about a minute. Uh, some of them take longer. Some of them are shorter. But uh, let's just, for the sake of this, assume that it takes about a minute. Now, if we take all that uh, and do a little bit of fun math, it would take over an hour of your real life time playing a mini game that you really have very little input to you just mash b every once in a while to get that prize yeah not gonna happen ah <laughs> Well, I guess I'll play Siege then. <laughs> I want this fucking loot box. We're getting dicked on. I don't even know if we'll get two wins within like in a half an hour. Oh, Overwatch crashed. Well.